Hello, if you're new here, I am Abel, and so are you. I got here today another ratcheting screwdriver that I stumbled across at Walmart. And um, I know, oh, sorry for all the noise, that's why I try to keep these out before I do the video. Uh, so I apologize for the noise. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the part number HHSDR001, 13 pieces. This is from Hart. Um, this is kind of a Walmart brand, Hart. Um, but they're coming up. I think they're coming up. 50% more torque. In handle storage, three position ratchet. And so you got some bits in there. Limited lifetime warranty. I have no idea what that warranty is like. Uh, I normally don't warranty my tools. I pr take pretty good care of them. And a lot of times by the time they do break, I'm ready to upgrade anyway. So anyway, Here's your sizes on your Phillips slotted square stars and nut drivers. You're welcome to pause this and read it at your own leisure. Got some safety warnings there. Always wear your protective glasses. Do not use this as a pry or a chisel. Um, and yeah, made in Taiwan. So there's some more information there. So yeah, um, so let's just take a quick look. So here, uh, you got half bits. Are they marked? Yes, this is a quarter half bit slotted. Let's see, does it have a it looks like that's a magnet down there. So I'm going to say it's a magnet. Yeah, it's a magnet down there. Definitely. And not a bad magnet. That magnet is... You see how that sucked in there? Yeah. Decent shaft. Here's going to be your collar. Three position. Of course, your middle position is going to be a standard. Got some channel branding there. <laughs> Here's your heart branding. And I believe that's pushed up through there. Yeah. See how that's pushed up through there? And this is rubber. This is a this is resin or plastic, but this here is rubber. And so that grip feels good. And check that out. They pressed it here. So it's on here twice. It's pressed in and it's raised up through there. Here's a little bit of gnarling and some some rid some ridges. And so yeah, that's a good handle. And you guys know I got a medium sized hand, so yeah. And then here, what do we got here? This is gonna be a ratchet driver. Uh I feel like that could that could wear off pretty soon. Yeah, or maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see some little ridges here because your your bits are in the handle. And guys, you know how I feel about lids like this because if you lose this, it's going to be, you know, I don't know what you're going to do. You, you could use it like this, but yeah, don't lose that. And that's what it was nice and clean inside. You can always, uh, you know, Put some fishing gear in here if you're, you know, going on a trip. Uh, drop some fishing gear in there and put it in your car. And so you never know when you want to pull over and just throw a line in. In the summertime, I do that. I just sometimes I'll just pull over at a lake and just throw a line in and see what happens. And you'd be surprised. Anyway, a little bit off subject there. Here is your bits. You got some stars or torques. 
slide it on the other side. You got a couple of Robbies or squares. Then you got your Phillips, different sizes on your Phillips. And uh, yeah, let's see, are these hard to get in and out? No, not at all. Not a big deal, not a big deal. And so guys, um, I just wanted to showcase this because I like ratcheting screwdrivers. And I have a few, I have a dedicated video to about four of them that I already have. And um, so when I saw this for 12 bucks, I say, I'll give it a try. And it actually feels good. So I'll chuck this in a bag or in the car, you know, uh, or, you know, may give it to one of the kids. Who knows? But anyway, um, you hear that? It's kind of loud. It's kind of clanky. Let's see if we can uh, try to count the clicks on this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 clicks before we got back here. So it is a little clanky, but you know, sometimes when they're lower like that, the gears in there may be stronger as opposed to having many, like 90, then you know your gears are very small and using a certain amount of torque, you know, if you're kind of like a, a Hulk type guy, you could, you could strip those out. I've never stripped one out. I believe you would strip a screw out before you strip the gears out, but it may be stronger because of the lower, the lower clicks. Mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. You disagree? Put it in the comments. Let me know. Uh, so, yes, guys. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to share this with you guys. 12, 13 bucks. And then they have one that's just got the flipping bits. It's not ratchet. And I think that was nine bucks. But, you know, I, I, I have these kind of tools. I don't need to load up on these, even though they are cheap. Uh, I just want to share it and get it out there that... Uh, you know, for some of us, it's a little strapped for cash. There's some cheaper tools. There's some cheaper alternatives. Heart is definitely coming up, and they're making a little bit better tools than they used to. All right. With that being said, um, please like, comment, subscribe, and remember to thumbs up.